Hello everyone, welcome back on this to my channel guys. I'm Ramke Singh, Unity game developer, YouTuber and blogger. So today is a very important topic. Most of you know that I have done tutorial on Photon Fusion 2 as well as I have done tutorial on Photon Pun 1 and 2. Currently, most of people know that currently in maintenance mode means there will be new updates but they will improve, they will not add any new feature. Pun 2 is very popular and most of us have done our projects. So suddenly we cannot give up, just we have to uh, continue our old project. So on the series of that, I am creating one more tutorial that is very important and on the internet you will not get a proper tutorial. So I am sharing like ownership and RPC fire. So we will get something much more interesting and in most of cases we face issue where we don't know that why it is happening so let's start the today video if you are new on the channel make sure to subscribe the channel and i will add this video in this series and this project i have provided on my patreon page so you can just check it out my patreon page and grab that sample there you will get much more sample there and i'm also doing the podcast thing so if you want you are interested so you can do the message me and condition is that you must you must have you should have at least three years of experience of game development or software engineer so let's start the today video so first i want to tell you that uh, you saw that it is in maintenance mode to 2022 but no new feature will be added so currently they have written and uh, soon i read somewhere that they will support to unity 6 so currently it will work till the 2022 version but in some time you will get the support of it so basically it is just uh, maintaining they are just improving but they are not adding new features so i have added this in my project so first we will talk about the ownership so in the ownership you will get three kind of ownership first one is fixed so let me explain that basic difference and second one is take over this one is request so we use the fixed ownership by if someone have like player on stuff like you can say self sword you can say self gun self item self doctor kit you can say health kit so most of stuff which is a player on item like you can say my cell phone my watch so everything is related to a player so that will be fixed so it will be on the player and whenever you will be instantiate so it will be by default to the by default to the player whenever it will be instantiated and this is the takeover takeover is like something uh, which is the common in your area like you can say something mug or you can say any universal gun or any device in your environment so device or anything like uh, you want to just uh, take over but there is just some condition you have to understand because people say that if you are not requesting you are not doing anything but directly you can interact so this is not true and you have to understand this thing so i will explain much more uh, and here is the request so basically people uh, on the website you will also get that uh, let's suppose i want to uh, grab anything or so first i will make the request to the owner and if he will accept your request so at that time you will able to uh, perform your on syncing on the multiplayer okay so same thing i want to show you let's suppose we have the cube so i have taken the cube and here you can see i have added the photon view and here is the ownership transfer it is fixed now so basically you know that which thing will be fixed which thing will be take over so if it will be under the player so we will do the fixed and if we want to transfer it at runtime so at that time we will use the takeover or request item and here is the takeover and here is the request and uh, if you want to sync the transform so you have to add the transform here if you, it is not showing here so what you have to do you have to do manual and you can directly add here same with the animation if you have animation so on the place of this you can use the animator so that is the photon animator if there will be any animation on it so you have to add this one also but currently it have does not have the animator so you must have the animator you want to add this stuff 
you have to add plus icon and then you can add so currently i am just sharing with you that you can sing the transform you can sing the animation so if it is under the player you will do the fixed and if it is outside so at that time you have to make decision that it will be request like uh, in the request you will send the request and until and unless your other player will not accept the request so it will be not get transferred the ownership and in the takeover people uh, you will mostly get that uh, you can directly change this but it is not true basically on the takeover you have to make a request and after the making request automatically you will get the access of it so at least you have to make the request so after that you will able to sing the this movement or transform or animation and whenever a uh, room is getting created and you have done the uh, takeover or on request so what whoever will be the master of room master is the person who create the room so master have the authority of this cube like he will be able to uh, move like here you will see ownership so whenever in the scene you will click like it is ownership is true it means it is ownership is related to you if it is false so it is not related to you okay so in takeover what you have to understand in the take over you have to understand that you have to make at least request take the access and you will get the access there will be no any permission required but at least you have to make the request in the request you have to make the request but until other person uh, who have the authority will not receive so you will not able to move object or you will not able to manage the animator okay great so this is the stuff related to ownership and by default if this is in this area so this will be ownership related to master by default but if it is related to your player so whenever player will be instantiated so this ownership will be related to player so let me show you basic stuff on their website so you get that what i am talking about so here you can see that is the fix so same ownership is fixed for room objects there is no owner but master client is the controller i same thing i explained to you on the request you can see ownership transfer option set to request so basically you have to make the request like this and then this callback will be triggered so in that callback you have to just transfer the owners and the takeover so in takeover you can see any any actor can change the ownership of any photon view that take over the ownership transfer option it is great but it will not work until unless you will be used this thing like put on be request ownership so you have to make the request and whenever you will do so ownership transfer will be automatically will be accepted and if you want to transfer manually if you want to transfer manually so at that time you can also use uh, this thing like uh, if you have the ownership you want to transfer to a player so you if you have that player access so you can transfer directly three things i explained to you and now it is time to understand that sometimes you use this thing but your thinking is not very good so it's depend on the scenario you have to understand the scenario uh, so in simple like uh, there is not very hard and fast rule so transform and animation work very perfectly but in some cases it is not so much perfect so at that time the name comes that is the pun rpc pun rpc what you have to use obviously you have to use pun rpc so most of people know that they have taking the one player like you can see this is the player and we in the resource folder they just grab that folder and this is the player so most of people fire their rpc from their player and on player it is compulsory there is a photon view but sometimes what happened like uh, we have the anything in the environment like you can see this is the sphere and it have the photon view it is a very important so you have to understand carefully otherwise you will get issue in your project so you can see i have added the photon view some people what do here they take the script that is the script a and in script a they create one script and they pass the reference of photon view and then they drag it drag and drop on the script a so they just fire uh, rpc from script a 
and then other player is not able to receive because you are doing a wrong way what you have to do means wrong way like it will not work like whenever you are taking reference of a sphere photon view and firing the rpc so your other player will be not able to receive because you are firing the rpc in a wrong way what is the right way to fire the rpc i am not explaining very much because i am expecting that you know about the point two so you know about the rpc we know that we use the rpc to sync the any data to run the method on the network so i am sure that you are aware about it so i am sharing that in case that you have to not fire your rpc from your player so at that time you have to fire rpc from your environment object so this is the not right way that you take the reference and then you fire the right way is that on the sphere i have added the photon view so here i have to attach a script any script like fire rpc and then here i have to write the code and add the photon view transfer and fire the all the rpcs let's suppose something happening from this script so what you have to do on the sphere script you have to add that method and that method you have to call from script a like uh, but the reference of photon view will be on this script so you will create one method that is pun rpc fire a so that method can be called from script a but it is compulsory that whatever reference you are giving the script should be on this game object so it is a very important thing that you have to understand otherwise you will face the issue so this is the rpc stuff and rpc is a very important thing sometimes your this ownership does not work so in that scenario you have to use the rpc from the photon view so hope you learned something hope you enjoy the video and there is nothing uh, that is very complicated so you can get that course the code is very simple like photon view request ownership you can use this to request the ownership on the takeover on the request and these are the callback in case you want to use but mostly i use the takeover in takeover you have to not do very much thing you have to just use the photon view dot request and then you will get the access so thanks for watching have a good day if you want to ask anything if you want to let me know anything so just let me know in the comment box thanks for watching have a good day see you in next video and please support the channel by subscribing the channel and also you can visit my patreon page you can grab any sample that can help you in your development so thanks for watching. Have a good day. See you in next video. Bye bye. Take care.